years today, the uh, U.S. Supreme Court made a landmark decision that still affects women's health rights today. It gave women the right to have an abortion. Today, some women still feel like they're facing issues regarding women's reproductive rights that were maybe losing some ground. Ashley Caulfield with Planned Parenthood is here to talk with us. How are you? I'm fine. Good morning. 42 years. Does it sometimes feel like you're still fighting the battle? We certainly are. Um, this is a critical time for women here in Tennessee um, after the passage of Amendment 1, which gives legislators in our state more power to place restrictions on abortion or ban it altogether, mm -hmm. even in cases of rape, incest, or threats to the life of the woman. And we know that young women do not believe that pregnancy alone should determine their destiny. They want accurate information, they want birth control, and they want abortion to remain safe and they want it all. And politicians who are trying to take any of that away are on the wrong side of public opinion and I think on the wrong side of history. So with that in mind, how do you try to reach out and have this conversation with state lawmakers and others who may not see eye to eye with you? Well, we've already seen some bills that have been introduced in the Tennessee General Assembly this session that are purported to protect women's health, but in fact do the opposite. Um, Give uh, us an example. Well, there's a bill that imposes a waiting period on women seeking abortion, mm -hmm. and we believe that places an undue burden on low-income women, women who are traveling from rural areas seeking health care, and it increases the cost of care to all women, and none of that, the waiting period provides no benefit whatsoever to women's health and safety. So where do you think the breakdown in understanding comes from? Uh, not enough men perhaps serving uh, in legislative bodies? So uh, what happens here? What do you think is uh, taking place? I think we need an honest conversation about abortion in America today. Abortion is one of the safest medical procedures provided in the United States. Data, including from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, show that abortion has a 99% safety record and medical technology has advanced to the point that abortion can be provided safely in doctor's offices or outpatient health centers. There, is that really what's driving the debate though, fear of that it's not safe for the woman or is it a religious and moral concern that for many, many people truly legitimately believe um, and, and hold deep conviction that life begins at conception so that to interfere with that is morally wrong. Isn't that really what's driving the it absolutely is driving it, and I think in the United States uh, we feel very strongly about freedom of speech, but we also feel strongly about freedom of religion, and we don't want political, ideological, or religious views imposed on us. So that's, that's where, basically because it's a religious issue, it shouldn't have a place in the in the lawmaking. I think that's protects. right and I think our lawmakers need to respect families and women's right to make private medical decisions and to make those decisions in consultation with their doctors and faith leaders. Mm -hmm. yeah. So where do you see this debate going in 2015? I think we're going to have a interesting debate in the legislature in Tennessee. Um, we uh, raised an army of volunteers throughout the state when we were fighting Amendment 1. Amendment 1 passed narrowly in Tennessee mm -hmm. um, with a vote of 53 percent. In Shelby County, which is the largest county in Tennessee, Amendment 1 lost. 65 percent of voters in Shelby County voted no on Amendment 1. So we're going to talk to our legislators this session about not taking women back to the 1950s, but giving giving us opportunities, opening up opportunities for us to um, make decisions for ourselves with our, in consultation with our families. Between you, your family, your doctor, and your God, basically. That's right. An individual decision. Thank you so much, Ashley. Thank you for having Appreciate me. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank and you. we will link to Planned Parenthood's website for you if you want more information. Next on Live